Hello everybody! We are working on our geology unit and we are using this book by Barbara Taylor called Mountains and Volcanoes. It's really beautifully illustrated, very easy to read, we're really liking it a lot and we are going to use this picture here as inspiration for today's project. We are going to be making the same model earth and then cutting it open. So we're using some wax, this is bees wax from a childsdream.com. You can see this in a recent haul of mine and we are just going to be using a few different colors. Now we didn't use all of this new wax. This is a perfect opportunity to use wax that you've already been playing around with. So I just want to show you some of the little pieces here that I have. You want to give yourself enough time to warm this up in your fingers. Now we tend to have an easier time working with this in the summer when it's naturally warmer and in the winter you just want to give yourself ample time to get it nice and warm and this is what we came up with now I had the kids assemble this while I was reading Journey to the Center of the Earth which I thought was kind of appropriate and now we're just going to put in the land masses using this green now uh, by this point the kids weren't that interested in helping out so I did the last part and I wasn't really interested in being all that accurate. So we do have enough continents, I think, but they are certainly not accurate at all. All right, so next was the fun reveal and it took a little bit to cut it open, but I'm surprised that it was actually, you know, not as hard as I expected. And here comes the exciting part and that's what it looks like on the inside and the first thing my fifth grader said was that's not what it's supposed to look like and that's true our core is way too big and our mantle is too small and our crust is way too thick but it was a lot of fun to do anyway it was a great demonstration and we are all excited to try it again in this time uh, be a little bit more accurate. So you can also do this with polymer clay and then you can cut it and then bake it and then that way it will keep its form because this wax over time will kind of get deformed on warmer days and we already noticed that after we had worked on it we had let it sit on the table and it kind of got a little bit deformed. Okay, so if you want to check out some of our other videos in our geology unit series, you can click on the screen right now for that. And of course, you can always check out more pictures on my website at pepperandpine.com.